10 when this was uh, Pozzola. And I mean, this is not something that is new to the board. And if you're going to do for one, I think the board needs to do for all. And in this case, the board has failed to uphold its duty uh, of being fair and impartial uh, to all that come before. If you want to assist one, you're going to have to assist everyone. And I think that's something that the board has failed to do, that the board did not advise Mr. Uh, Pozzola as it did in assisting uh, Mr. Thompson. And I thought that was somewhat unfair on the board's part. Now, let me just say this because this is not something that uh, you all have not uh, uh, been aware of, and I think the board needs to be more considerate in assisting all and not some. Now, there's no way uh, the board should have uh, walked one through and not the other. I think the board has the protection of responsibility of assisting where they can and where they need it. And I think Ms. Jacobs may mention of that. In Ms. Pozzola's case, the board did nothing uh, to assist her. But in Mr. Thompson's case, uh, the board went as far as to walking him through and carrying out the proceedings for him even after the case had been closed. Now, I asked the board, is that the way we operate or is that the way we should operate in the state of Louisiana for the citizens of Louisiana? Should the board look at one any different than they look at the other? Now, I'm asking, is the board acting fairly and impartial when assisting one and not the other? Because I think that's something that we have to address. 